Jay Haynes with the Film Sensei YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to do speed ramping in hit film the right way. Most people, when they do speed ramping in hit film, just flat do it wrong. What they do is they drag a clip onto the editor timeline and then they decide where they want to start the speed ramp. They go ahead and use the slice tool, make a cut, decide where they want to speed ramp to, make another cut, use the rate stretch tool, drag this in, and then they just fill in the gap. And so then it looks, you know, sort of like a speed ramp, but it's not really a speed ramp. And you can tell that there's a hard cut here when it starts speeding up. Okay, so this is not how to do it. Instead, you want to use the speed effect. The speed effect can be found under the temporal folder in the effects tab. Using the speed effect, just drag it onto the um, clip itself. You can ramp it using keyframes instead. So I'm going to come to basically where I want the, sp the speed ramp to begin, eh, maybe about here, and then I will keyframe speed. I might move forward about 10 frames or so, and then I'll ramp this up to 20, and then I might move forward 10 more frames uh, there, and back down to one. Okay, so now without touching any other aspect of it, you can see how that is speed ramping up and back more smoothly because it's being keyframed across the speeds forward and backward. But if I were to open up the display timeline and I were to move in on these keyframes a little bit closer, I can go ahead and grab those and then I can make those manual bezier. If I then open up the display graph, I can see that these are much more smooth in their movement and they really are and this looks really good if i want i can play with these handles a little bit maybe drag them in to make it happen a little bit quicker over time or i can slow them down or whatever but that's the essential idea behind speed ramping now it's somewhat non-intuitive because what happens is because i sped up somewhere here in the middle I end up clipping out the back end of this. In other words, what was here is now here. And so most people think, oh, well, if I want to cut this beforehand, I'll just go ahead and trim this back to here. But that doesn't work because it just shrinks the whole thing down and makes it go even faster. So you just can't do that, all right? So one solution to that would be to add a new track and then just lay on another layer of another video over on above it so that you can't tell that there was any sort of a funny looking thing there okay but if you really really do want to make it right what you do is go ahead and make it into a composite shot and bring everything with it the composite shot properties as well as the masks effects and transform properties that would include that speed ramping effect click OK and now if I open this up, you can see that the speed ramp is inside of this composite shot. Going back to the editor timeline, you can see now that if I look at the controls, there is no effect here, right? As a result, it works exactly the same, but I can go ahead and trim this and it still works the same. I can trim on the front end of it as well and it still looks just as good as it you would expect it to look so by baking it into a composite shot here you will have much better control over what it looks like out here on the editor timeline 